Namaste and crystal blessings to my earthly celestial and elemental soul tribe in this beautiful, magical, magnificent Mama Earth realm and beyond. Wherever you are, Nikki from Nikki Anita Cosmic Creatrix wishing you all the highest vibration of love from my heart space to yours. As always. So today, Nikki would like to bring you this subject matter of cards. Okay, not oracle cards, not tarot cards, but just normal playing cards. Okay, have you found in your lifetime <laughs> a random playing card just lying down there? on your path, outdoors, when you're walking. Have you? I have. This was from uh, 2014 to 2016. I have found three cards. Okay. As you know, um, when you look for all this information about cartomancy, about playing cards, about tarot, they're all quite old. Because tarot, I think it was uh, before our modern oracle cards. Tarot was used since the medieval times. It is said to be, uh, I think it began in Italy in the uh, 16th maybe 15 or 16th century and the playing cards the 52 playing cards that one was about 15th century because I was reading about it the playing cards uh, said to be from Holland or Netherlands and prior to that the playing cards were invented in China Okay, this is like 1000 AD and I think uh, it came to the Western world through the Egyptians. So it's quite old, quite ancient as you can say, the playing cards. But as it progressed from playing into divination and spellcraft, into cartomancy, where it is uh, used to for fortune telling, for divination, and magic, spellcraft. People were taking it more um, serious in just, you know, as it is in playing cards, with the meanings and um, writing a lot of books on it. So I never really paid attention because I don't play cards. I don't really play games actually, board games or sports. Yeah, not in this lifetime or um, video games, anything that's game. Uh, yeah, I'm not a game person in this lifetime so not even playing cards yes i've played when you know family get together and you know during some celebration there's nothing to do okay let's play cards and i will be definitely pulled in to the crowd to fill in the gaps if they need extra players yeah, i've done that but i'm not really a card players so sometimes go like oh, what is this called oh clubs okay spade you know so when I came across the first card, okay, all three cards that I found from 2014 to 2016 was when I was with Mr. Hubby. Okay, when we were together walking, this was back in Malaysia when he came down for a holiday and before I went to Sweden, of course. So the first card we found, this was just laying there right in front of us on the sidewalk facing upwards I think most of the cards I can't remember now I think most if not all was facing upwards 
So the first one we found was Eight of Hearts. You can actually read about this cartomancy and also its correspondence with tarot and all the other symbols and also seasons. There's so many. Like I said, we are so blessed living in this era now that we don't have to rush into a bookstore or a library to find for this information. It's there for us laid out for us and we can make a good use of cyberspace for the information that we need to know or find out and that pique our curiosity so the first one was eight of hearts the second i'm not sure whether this either two of this i think it's probably that one was in an island resort and not really at the resort but when we were holidaying in Tioman Island back in Malaysia and this was also while we were holidaying but this was at Cameron Highlands but two separate trips one was in 2015 I think another one in 2016 so this two was from Cameron Highlands the Joker cart and the ace card part so of course I've looked into it but I don't think prior to this 2014 I have uh, I did come across this before because if I have I am sure to pick it up that's me no stones left unturned policy so anything that piqued my curiosity and like, why is it there? It's not supposed to be there. Just like these cards, you know, it's just one card from the deck of cards was misplaced. Because there are a lot of articles saying that it could be this or it could be that. But people who believe in synchronicities and messages from the U universe from your higher self, from God's source, from your guides, find it or see it in a different perspective. We find it, it, it as messages for us specifically. So I don't think I remember ever finding one prior to this 2014 to 2016. So it was, I think, 2014, 2015, and 2016, these three cards. So after that, I did not come across any more cards. And it's just not cards. I pick feathers. If I see uh, a strange plant or some stickers or a billboard trying to tell me something, I find these synchronicities, even like numbers. Those who are into triple numbers, double numbers, keep seeing those synchronicity. Numer numerical, whether it's numer numerical or alphanumerical, these are signs, but not everyone uh, take that into it or believe in it. So after that, I did not find any cards until Mavon, until the autumn equinox when I went for a walk and did some magical shopping where I got uh, my earlier video where I got from Merlin there it was I was walking on the sidewalk it's very quiet here in central Sweden okay it is really quiet so I was walking on the sidewalk um, I know it's the you universe that made me turn towards the left because there's no why I need to like, you know, turn my head towards the left, downwards. And it was not on the sidewalk. It was actually wedged between some shrubs. So when I looked at it and I was like, hmm, that looks like a card. Because you can't really see it. But I can see the red symbols. I was like, okay, that's a card. So I picked it up from the shrubs and there it was three of diamonds okay three of diamonds there's a lot of articles also pertaining this 
and it also corresponds to autumn. Okay, I think uh, for tarot, this is pentacles. This corresponds to um, the autumn, the fall. So, <laughs> it's no coincidence there. And three is about creativity to for prosperity in your business and your other endeavors. Um, it's a positive card. And also the others too. Like the Joker is like, you know, some consider it as Trump card. So yes, I find this very fascinating. This random card finding. It's just, but it's not random in meaning. For me, I find it is a message, a synchronicity for my life path or whatever that I need to receive at that time from the universe, from my higher self, from my guides. So I'm very grateful and I would love to hear your uh, experience. If you have come across, even if you don't believe in it, and you may have been curious about it, but never really, you know, had a second thought about it or even researched about it. If you're still keeping the card and if you still remember what card or cards you have come across and um, you can actually go back to that timeline and see that why you got that card. What was the message? So I would love to know your experience with these findings. It will be wonderful to know to share this because there's not many videos pertaining this random cut findings I think to share these experiences that we have in this whimsical magical earth realm so yes that is a short video I hope it's short <laughs> I can just go on rambling so this is Cartomancy and all those four cards that have showed itself. And even this one, the latest one, was actually uh, facing outwards because, and that is how I know it was a card because I could see, I think, the tip of one of the diamonds, I think. So, yeah. So stay magical, and if you come across this video, please share your experience with me. I would love to know. In La Cash Namaste, lots of love as always, wherever you are. Love you.